Indiana is off the beaten path. The small farming town has a population of about 400. There isn't much to see here, except for one landmark that is the pride of this community. Ernie Pyle's significance to this small town, uh, he's our famous son. Tom Milligan is a farmer from Dana, home of the Ernie Pyle State Historic Site. And he made not only a, a significant contribution to this area, but I mean, he made a significant contribution uh, to journalism. Pyle left Dana around 1918 to join the Navy before pursuing a career in journalism that took him around the world. Pyle's folksy style of writing focused on the average soldier, sailor, airman, and marine who fought in World War II. His articles were extremely popular in the United States and earned him a Pulitzer Prize in 1944. The site that honors him is situated in the center of Dana. Pyle's home was moved here in the 1970s from a location outside of town. The visitor center was added in 1998 through a grant from the Scripps Foundation. Pyle was a reporter for the Scripps Howard News Service. Several fires that raged in Dana over the years left few buildings standing. One fire almost destroyed Pyle's site. But what the fires could not take from Dana, the latest economic recession might. Indiana, like most other states, are, uh, is experiencing some, some real budget uh, issues uh, currently. And so uh, uh, the Ernie Pyle site, unfortunately, uh, has been closed uh, basically due to those budget uh, issues. Bruce Beasley is the regional manager of the State Historic Sites of Indiana. Unfortunately, it always has to come down to one particular place, one particular occasion, where we had to make, uh, make our cuts. The doors to the home and visitor center have been locked since the beginning of the year. The Beasley States. says there aren't enough visitors to justify its operating expenses. The state of Indiana wants to move some of the historic artifacts to other museums around the state. Phil Hess is the director of the Friends of Ernie Pyle, a group dedicated to preserving Pyle's legacy and his historic site. He believes no other site represents Pyle better than his Dana home. We feel that this is the best place to have an interpretation of Ernie Pyle's work because it's concentrated. It's spaced out enough, it gives examples of his writing through the whole war period from start to end. The state of Indiana would ultimately like to see the site funded and operated by town or county governments or the Friends Group. I'm not sure that if it comes to local ownership that, that the existence would be guaranteed for very long. Uh, with the state, if it had assumed what I think is its responsibility, it could last forever. The Indiana Natural Resources Commission has ultimate authority over the fate of the site. They have delayed until the fall a decision whether to permanently close the site. The Friends of Ernie Pyle group hopes that is enough time to win support from Indiana Governor Mitch Daniels to reopen the site and keep Pyle's memory alive in the town of Dana. Kane Fairbaugh, VOA News, Dana, Indiana.